What is a moment? When you really think about it, all it is is the cusp between everything that ever was and everything that will ever be. This moment, for example, this moment represents the very last play of our season. This is the moment where the entire Viking football nation was collectively holding their breath. This is it. This is our moment. The moment between everything that got us there and the destiny that will forever link us together. Everybody wants to remember the big moment. They want to be able to say they were there when that happened. But what people don't know is that this moment was four years in the making. It represents the collective efforts of a football team that was relentless in their pursuit of excellence. This moment was forged in the hard and difficult training, the sacrifice of blood, sweat and tears, and the dedication of a vast support network. So yeah, that moment was big. That moment was important. But what you have to understand about it is that moment didn't just happen. That moment was made. We'll come back to this play a little later. But first, we got to hear the story of the 2022 Vincent Massey Vikings. To say the Viking football team came into the season with high expectations is a big understatement. The weight of expectation was a daunting presence throughout the entire year. The pressure to perform was immense. But if you know anything about geology, you know that the only thing to make a diamond is pressure. Vikings started the season on fire, reeling off three blow-up victories against Kelvin, Elmwood, and perennial powerhouse, the Sistler Spartans, led by a dominating offensive onslaught and a defense that didn't let a single point. The Vikings sent notice to the league that they were gonna be a problem. And then like a cold splash of water, the John Taylor Pipers came to town for their very first ever game with the Vikings. The first half the Pipers left the Vikings reeling and the team went down at halftime 28-7. This all occurring on the most hollow day of Viking football, the Hall of Fame game. The Vikings had their backs against the wall. But a simple and inspiring message from Coach Steves, who simply looked at the team and said, we got this. It was all that was needed to have those young Vikings believe in themselves and each other. The rest is history, as the Vikings stormed back and eventually won the game 42-38 to in what became the greatest comeback and possibly the greatest game in the history of her program. Oh, such
fueled with a new sense of confidence after the JT game. The Vikings went to their next two games against the Miles Mac Buckeyes and the Springfield Sabres refreshed and energized. Both of those teams proved ample challenges for the Vikings, especially the Sabres, whose well-executed and dynamic offense put the Viking defense on their heels. But like all good teams, the storm is weathered because of a consistent and determined effort on both sides of the ball. Prove you wrong, so I break it. You leave all of your problems at the door to my city. You gon' need to tell my brothers where you from, and I admit it. I still got empathy, and you gon' feel it for two weeks when I release you in them streets and keep my Nina in discreet. Keep the clean in my jeep and put that Yeezy in your teeth. Let my teeth off their leashes if you even think to speak. I'ma give a whole new meaning when you said you live in a dream. We could keep that sleep, and you gon' live it all your G's. Count them sheep, 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 sheep. Time by Z, 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 Just like that, we come to the last game of the season. And who better to play than our crosstown rivals, the Crocus Plains Plainsmen, who themselves were experiencing a bit of a renaissance under the tutelage of the former great Viking player and coach, Mason Klusniak. This matchup is steeped in history since their first ever meeting against one another in 2001. The Vikings, however, have dominated the matchup against the Plainsmen, only losing one game to them since 2007. The matchup also saw the reunion of many young Wolverines who played on the football field again for the very last time. The game became the final tune-up for the team as they entered the playoffs as the number one seed in the division. After dispatching the Portis Trojans, the Vikings were set up for a rematch against the very tough Springfield Sabres. Eager to erase the mistakes of the first game, the defense came prepared and determined to make the adjustments needed to be great that day. It was a punishing day. The Vikings exploded on offense, scoring seemingly at will, and the defense that was put on their heels by those same Sabres earlier in the year attacked and stifled them at every turn and only allowed them four first downs in the entire game. The 
Vikings were once again headed to the Winnipeg High School Football League Division II Championship game. This time, they were looking to make history. Here we are, finally at the final game, with the matchup against the equally tough and the undefeated Sturgeon Heights Huskies. What a better way to end the season than with an opponent that would get our very best out of us. An opponent that gave us an opportunity to see how great we could actually be. After four quarters of stellar play on both sides, it would take overtime to determine the champion. For the graduating players, the years have come full circle as they started this journey against the very same Huskies, and today their journey would end against them. Nothing less than their best effort would be required on that day. The past four years had prepared them for this moment. Their moment. And all this brings us back to this moment, your moment. They have to score a touchdown. It, it's, it's first and goal. Yeah. Oh, sorry, third and goal. This is it. Cam is back to pass, and he's looking into the corner of the end. Third Division U champions are the Vincent Massey Vikings. And there you go, folks. Your 2022 Division II CTV Bowl champions are your Vincent Massey Vikings from Brandon. Congratulations to both teams to one of the most exciting games we've watched in quite some time. Don't look down Cause I'm on top of the world hey.